Hi, uh, everyone. <laughs> How are you? This is Tracy coming to you today. I don't even know what today's date is. September something. Oh, well. Um, I'm coming to you today um, to do another reading, you know. And then I also have the written word to do, so we're going to do the written word. Um, oh, by the way, the written word is kind of like a Dear Abby. You were right. I Damn right I was right, because I, I talk to God. Yeah, I was right. Okay, but I, I don't want to brag so, like, I don't want to, like, because, you know, I was sharing it, and I know I was right. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey. Hi, Jay. Hi. Um, I know. Okay, so for all of you that don't know why I'm right, I am right because I predicted Serena would win over her sister, Venus. And it was a close match though, but, um, but yeah, I was right. <laughs> I'm always right. <laughs> okay, so, hi guys. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I wasn't even thinking about doing them. I was watching Good Morning America, and they made this, you know, blah, 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 Serena, blah, 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 Venus, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, bingo, bingo. That should be my first reading coming back and nailed it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I was right. <laughs> All right. On to the next one. <laughs> this one may take a little while to reveal themselves. Okay, so. The view. Now, I kind of like doing a view because the view is uh, a hot mess, right? Like last year, oh my God, the year before that with Sherry Shepard and the baby and the husband and the, then it's a nightmare. And then, um, and then you know, Barbara had to leave because she's just retiring and then the staff changed. So it's kind of like they brought out Barbara's whole staff, brought in a whole new staff, put them in a whole nother division because I think the view... Maybe a part of the news division now or something like that. I don't know. It's all crazy. Okay. So, with all that being said, they didn't have the same technique that made the view successful for like 19 years, right? Because everything changed. And then it just fell apart. And then they fired Nicole, and I just love Nicole. And then Rosie left midstream. I'm just recapping last year. And then the other Rosie got into some trouble because the person said something about Latina, but she was leaving anyway. She just left a little early, but she, was, she wasn't she was going to stay either. It was a nightmare last year. And then Raven showed up out of the blue. This spunky, cute little girl showed up, and, and then... Um, and then Whoopi got really quiet after Rosie left. Oh, wait, damn it. I, you know, I keep forgetting to set the timer. And then Whoopi got quiet after Rosie left. She was happy, right? I mean, Rosie O'Donnell. And then Rosie O'Donnell's child ran away in the midst of, you know, had nothing to do with the view. But then her child ran away. And she wound up in, a, in um, the folds of a pedophile. And then... Um, and then she decided to go live with her mother, but you know what that's about, because she still wants to be an adult, and you know, that's what kids do. All of a sudden, she's like, you're not my mother anyway. This feeling that I got, it's not psychic. It's like, oh, I know what that's about. In any case, the view, the view. So now we've got these adorable, prepubescent, you know, Disney, because I think uh, Good Life or Good House or Full House was on ABC, Right? I think it was, right? And then we have Raven with the whole Raven Simone show, whatever the Disney Channel she had on that was like real magical. I love that because this is my world. So I actually love that that little show. In any case, and you know, Raven, I know you believe in this stuff. You know you believe in me. Not because you did the show. You just believe. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the hearts, guys. And I, if anybody's talking to me, I'm not mis like looking at right now because I'm up in the air. Because I'm excited because I uh, predicted Serena. By the way, the, the, the written word is, you know, e email me at psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. And Tracy is spelled T-R-A-C-E-Y. 
and I'm gonna do readings based upon your questions like for instance if you're you know, if you're having an affair and you're like Tracy this is what's happening I'm having an affair I don't know what to do I'll pick a, a letter and talk about it on Periscope but I will not mention your name it will be the written word one the written word two no names mentioned you could mention your name to me I don't care I'm not gonna mention your name all right that's just new that's just new and I wanted to expand that because there are some are circumstances that people wind up in and they want to call me but sometimes they're embarrassed by their situation so now you can write it in I also have the radio show block talk radio what's up oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, psychic Tracy T-R-A-C-E-Y Brown at yahoo.com okay and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do it every Wednesday but if it gets popular I might do one a day thanks you're welcome so I'm gonna look at the pre <laughs> Raven and Candace you know the battle of the pre <laughs> Are they really? Do you guys think so? Do you think those two little cute little girls are going to get along with you? By the way, they're not little girls. I think Raven is 20-something. I know Candace has like five children and she's like 30-something. Um, but she has this moral compass, kind of like Elizabeth did, which, which is nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying between the two girls, I wonder how all of that is going to work out. <laughs> because... Uh, I think sometimes the producers pick people based upon the drama for the numbers, even if it's not good for the show. That's what I think. All right, whatever. Raven and Candace, how's all of this going to work out for you guys this year? The comedian, I love her, but I can't remember her name. I love her. I think she's Spanish. I don't remember because I don't remember her name, but... Trust me, I'll get to know you. You are hilarious. She's the tall one, kind of big boned it. Drama is good for ratings. I know it is, which is why I think these little girls are gonna I think they're gonna butt heads. And you know, even though drama is good for ratings, somebody always walks away crying. Watch. Um, but Raven has an odd survival rate. Raven is I don't know Raven's sign. I need to check you a little better, Miss Thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Raven thinks she knows everything. I know! That's... Yeah. And, uh, and Candace, I think Candace is somewhat educated. So you're going to have this know-it-all with this educator. Everyone likes Raven. <laughs> Hello? Was that the name of a TV show? Was that the name of her TV show, Everyone Likes Raven? Was it? I don't know. Why am I not pulling enough cards here? Okay, I'm over this. I think Joy will make Candace. Oh, you think so? Oh, that's so Raven. Yeah, that's so Raven. I like that show because it was all about, you know, it was about my world. So of course, I'm going to like that little kitty show. <laughs> I was hoping she would expand on that because she had a running deal with ABC Family, which never turned into anything. ABC. Why didn't Raven ever get something beyond the view? This was like five years ago. Really, people? All right. There's going to be harmony for a minute. Oh, thank you for the hearts, everyone. There's going to be harmony for a minute. You know what? I want to say for three weeks. That's what I really want to say. But there also could be harmony for three months. The number three is big here. Candace looks like she will be a crier. Mm, I don't know. I think she has a tougher skin than we're giving her credit for. I think Raven could be the crier. That's, you know, I don't know. Um, 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 huh. There's going to be a power struggle, which then is going to have some self-confidence issues coming out between one of the two girls or both girls. All right, so there's some self-confidence stuff that's going to like almost rip them open. Like it's a bigger picture going on here. 
Conflict and defeat. Stand your ground. Oh, Lord. Positive movement forward. Um, it's going to be problems, people. It's going to be problems. There's going to be problems because I get conflict and defeat. Stand your ground. Somebody's going to stand their ground, which I have a funny feeling it's going to be Raven because this this card is a big presence. It's like, I believe in myself. It's big, right? And I don't feel like Candace is that way. I feel like Candace is going to be, this is the situation. These are the facts. And this is what I'm sticking to, right? So I get this as Candace. I think Whoopi will feel threatened by Joy. She's moderating the Friday show. Oh, oh, oh boy, you guys know so much. Okay, so, um, Joy is moderating Friday show. Does that mean that they switch chairs? What the hell? Oh, dear. Okay. The girls are like opposites. I just hope it doesn't turn into a race issue, but they're opposites. All right? It literally comes to, comes down to black and white. There's no gray with these two prepubescent um, bunnies. So, it's going to be a problem. Could turn into race. So, it just could. It could be like, it turns into, but you know what? Everything turns into race nowadays, right? You just pull the race card. <laughs> I don't think Raven's going to pull the race card. I just think it's going to turn into a stance. This is my stance and I'm sticking to it. Blah, 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 blah. And race might be the culprit. That's what I'm like. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, if it's about race, I get to stick to this because I'm black. Is what I'm getting. Oh, guys, guys, they're so, they're going to sabotage each other. If not, try to kill each other. It's going to be horrible. Oh, they're going to take up like once the problem begins, you can never pull these two back together again. Okay, once it begins, they're they they can never see the beauty in one another. Oh, boy. Hmm. Oh, well, this is what ABC wanted. Um, somebody is going to stay there a year. If, if not, okay, somebody's going to stay there a year or somebody leaves in a new year. Candace will eventually say something that will make them all angry. Right? I'm, I can't wait. I think she's going to be fascinating. And she's not going to back down. So... You know, she might have a problem. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. She might have a problem with Whoopi. She might have a problem with uh, the tall one, the, the big boned one. I can't remember her name. Does anybody remember her name? Help me. The, the big boned one, the comedian. I like her. Ugh, it's just so bad with names. Somebody, it could be gone in a new year, kind of like last year when Ro Rosie left midway through and in tears. Here's the thing, uh, <laughs> Candace, okay, <sighs> here's the thing. If Candace leaves midway through, Candace is probably going to get an offer from Fox. Come on, guys, let's be realistic. Um, somebody gets an offer, but I'm not going to say it's Candace. I'm going to leave it open between the two prepubescent girls. One of them will leave most likely midway through or will not stay another year. You know, this might be a one-year contract. But it doesn't really matter. The, the career takes off. Who wasn't there yesterday? Candace wasn't there yesterday? Candace wasn't there yesterday? While they talked about the Kentucky lady that wouldn't let people um, get the gays, that wouldn't let the gays get married. Candace wasn't there yesterday? Oh, my goodness. See? See, it's starting already. You know why? Because Candace is saying, no, no, no. If Candace didn't come out until after... What? <laughs> See? See? <laughs> they did not want to start the show off with such fire because she's going to stick to her guns. You know? She's very religious-based, by the way, which we need. We need someone that's going to stick to their guns and this is my conviction and blah, 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 blah. We all need that. Whether or not it's right, I'm not saying that because the gays have the right to get married. And, you know, I'm for all of that, but oh, ah, that's so exciting. Now, can you all see that it's going to be a major problem? 
And Raven is a lesbian, so you know, you know where she stands. All right, I'm going to end this. There's going to be a problem. There's going to be sabotage. They're going to fight each other. They're going to play nice for maybe three, I'm going to give you a frame, a time frame. Between three weeks and three months, they'll play nice. And then, it's on. <laughs> I can't wait. They can't even hide this. This isn't even a proper prediction. <laughs> you guys know what's going to go down. You guys didn't need me. Um, I feel like the prediction is somebody leaves midway through. Okay, I'll come back. I have the written word to do, so I actually have one more segment to do, which is the written word. I love you guys. Can I please get some hearts before the um, buzzer rings? The buzzer's going to ring in two minutes. May I please get some hearts, you guys? I love you. Yes. Yes, yes, I was right about Serena. By the way, I changed my channel. So you have to, if you would like, please subscribe to my new channel. It's called the Type P, Type P. I'll try and post it all over. And refer me to anybody, you know, all your friends. Refer me. I'm good. If I must say so myself. <laughs> and I prove it with my videos. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am coming back right away because I'm going to do the written word. Love you. Bye.